In the last 50 years of the 20th century, the Earth's population grew by over 3.6 billion people. According to the United Nations, by the year 2050, there will be over 9 billion people on the planet. Numbers like these have politicians, scientists, and economists taking a whole new look at the business of fish farming. But one person saw the value of this industry over 30 years ago. I am from Haugesund, the west coast of Norway, which, is the, which used to be the center, the capital of the world of herring mm -hmm. during for uh, more than 100 years. In the 40s, in other words, uh, the, 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 the enormous volumes were there. And then you saw it fall off and off and off and less and less and less until in 1952 it was gone, no more. So I've, sort of, I've seen the overfishing. I've seen how people, how man can empty the ocean so that, uh, that, uh, that we were overfishing and, and that, uh, that we were depleting the sea it has been something I grew up with. So then in 73, and I thought, Stoltenson family has to be in fish some way. We hadn't been <laughs> since in the 50s. <clears throat> so we started. Today's Stolt Sea Farm is one of the largest, most diversified aquaculture companies in the world. Another generation is in charge of operations now, with the same values and a clear direction for the future. Today, Stolt Sea Farm is truly the only international aquaculture company, and we're becoming better fish farmers. Our production costs are continuously decreasing, uh, and as a result of that, uh, we've been able to offer our customers a steady supply uh, and uh, at the price level, which is, uh, which is acceptable. I think that with the expertise that we have in-house, we should be able to farm other species successfully and profitable. We need to make it more convenient for our customers. We need to offer our customers freshness and convenience. I think that Stolt Sea Farm is the company that is best situated today uh, to be able to do that in the future. Stolt Sea Farm is more than just fish farming. It is a fully integrated aquaculture enterprise. It's also the only aquaculture company in the world to manage the entire process from egg to plate for more than one species. To accomplish this, Stold controls its own breeding stock, its own farming operations, and its own R&D facilities. Stolt has also invested in modern production facilities that generate both bulk fish and brand name consumer products. In order to improve cost efficiencies, reduce risk, and better serve the customer, you need a global organization. That's why Stolt has established aquaculture operations in all the major producing regions around the world. Norway is home base for Stolt Sea Farm. This is where the vision of a truly global aquaculture business first started. Salmon is the major species farmed here. The cool, clean waters off the northern coast are ideal for growing this popular fish. Salmon is growing as an export fish. The value of the, the export value of the salmon is growing to new heights uh, every month nearly. The fish grown here come from Stolt's own hatcheries. By controlling the entire life cycle of the fish, Stolt is able to ensure the highest quality product throughout the year. You could say that fish farming is a, is a result of uh, the market's need for predictable deliveries. We can say when and where we are going to have the fish for the market. Uh, you can't do the same thing about fish in the sea. Further south in Norway, Stolt is also farming Atlantic halibut. In fact, Stolt was the first company to develop halibut as a farmed fish. Well, the reason one farms halibut, it's a high-priced fish. Here we have controlled environments. We can supply our customers with uh, what they want in terms of how many kilos, what size. I think one might see as an example of the willingness of Stolt Sea Farm to uh, invest in uh, new species. On the west coast of Norway is the very first Stolt Sea Farm operation. This site has been producing world-class salmon and trout smolt since 1973. Fjorn is a very important smolt plant. They have increased the production year by year. Today it's about one million salmon small producing every year. We are also producing uh, rainbow trout here. And it's a very good facility for uh, rainbow trout production. About one third of the fry production in Norway take place here. They have very good water quality and temperatures, so the quality of the smolt from Fjorn is very good. 
As well as being a world leader in smalt production, this facility is also recognized as a leader in environmental responsibility. A new state-of-the-art treatment system cleans both the water coming into the facility and the water re-entering its picturesque surroundings. Spain is home to another Stolt Sea Farm operation. In Lira, on the Spanish west coast, is the world's largest turbot farm. With the popularity of turbot on the rise, Stolt Sea Farm is uniquely positioned to take advantage of the growing demand. The Lira farm is the, uh, the largest land-based farm in the world, um, any species. And uh, we produce there annually 1,000 tons of turbot. Um, it was, it's, it's a brand uh, new facility, it's a state-of-the-art facility. Uh, all the technology we are using there is, uh, has been designed on our own by Stolt Sea Farm. And uh, most of the, um, the features of the designs we have there are exclusive to Stolt Sea Farm. In Turbot, we have almost 50% of the world market share. And in Halibut, we have around 75%. So we bring those two species, which are quite different from the rest of the species of Stolt Sea Farm, and we bring them and master them in a position of unique leader in the world, which is a very important position. In North America, Stolt Sea Farm enjoys a dominant market position. It is the largest producer of Atlantic salmon on the continent. To better serve this growing market, Stolt has located numerous farm sites in some of the best growing regions on both coasts of Canada and the United States. For example, on Canada's west coast, the extensive natural shoreline and pristine waterways are well suited to salmon farming. Here, as in other regions, Stolt is fully integrated, controlling its own broodstock, hatcheries, farming, processing, and sales. Campbell River is an excellent area to grow salmon for many reasons. The fish are harvested 12 months of the year. Uh, they're harvested to order, and we're able to give our sales force an estimate of what size of fish will be coming out of the water when. Stolt began its operations in British Columbia in 1985, and we've been a leader in the industry in many different aspects. The most noteworthy being our commitment to maintaining high environmental standards. Much of the work that we've been doing has formed the basis for future regulations that the government is now in the process of bringing into existence. Stoll's concern for the environment is a global commitment. Company-wide standards have been set and implemented in all Stoltz Sea Farm locations worldwide. That includes this site in Northern California, where a rather exotic species is being cultivated. This is home to the world-famous white sturgeon. Once plentiful in the Caspian Sea, sturgeon stocks have declined dramatically over the last few years, and so has the quantity and quality of Russian caviar, the product sturgeon is best known for. In Northern California, Stold Sea Farm is producing caviar that has been recognized for its consistent quality and fine flavor. The caviar quality coming out of our farm-raised fish has been surprisingly high compared to the Caspian Sea. And from a processing standpoint, we're able to process it under much tighter controls, uh, which improves the shelf life and the, the taste. In order to offer some consistency within the market, uh, we decided to grade our product by color. We've developed four brands, Sterling Classic, Sterling Premium, Sterling Royal Black and Sterling Imperial to split out these different colors and offer a consistent product to the consumer. Of all the products that Stolt is raising, caviar undoubtedly has the highest value on a per pound basis uh, and probably has the highest value of any fisheries product worldwide. Uh, it's not uncommon for our product at the retail level to sell in the four to $500 or more a pound range. In all, Nine Stolt Sea Farm locations around the world currently have five species in production, making Stolt the world's most diversified aquaculture enterprise. This highly diversified operation ensures Stolt is in the best position to satisfy the growing demand for farmed fish around the world. Diversification is also key in reducing risk. To better serve its growing list of customers, Stolt Sea Farm has established sales offices in every key sales region around the world, including Asia, North America, and Europe. In fact, Stolt Sea Farm is the only aquaculture company with sales offices in the Asia-Pacific region, the world's number one market for fish. 
This commitment ensures that Stolt sales representatives are in place taking orders and delivering customer satisfaction when and where they are needed most. In addition, Stolt is the only aquaculture company in North America to put a processing plant right in the marketplace. This helps Stolt deliver a fresher product to market and shortens lead times for customer orders. This state-of-the-art facility in Los Angeles processes over 5,000 tons of fish each year for the North American market. A sophisticated computer program determines the cutting pattern that will ensure the accuracy of each portion and optimize the yield from every fish. Exact weight portions are then pre-packaged and delivered to customers under the Sterling brand name. Stold Sea Farm was the first aquaculture company to brand its products at the trade level in North America. Today, the Sterling name enjoys the highest brand recognition in the marketplace. It is recognized as the supplier of high-quality, premium-priced fresh fish. Stold Sea Farm is committed to being the leading international producer and marketer of premium aquaculture products. It is better positioned than any of its competitors to capitalize on the burgeoning demand for farmed fish. And as the world grows, Stoke is ready to grow with it.